praises. So you heard what he been bringing out, right? 100% facts, you agree? Because it's coming out the book. And the problem is that the history that we've been reading, why the church never taught us this while we were sitting in their pews all these years? Probably owned by a white man. Yeah, they was, the church is owned by white men, I agree. You know why? Because the same people that's supposed to teach you, they was paid to teach you lies. But God says that you shall know the truth and the truth shall what? Make you free. Right. You understand? And that's what you learning. My, my brother right here, we going over history in the Bible. How are the black men compared in this book? What do God describe us? Just niggas in the hood? Or are we the gods that fell from our glory? What does the Bible say? What verse was we at? Because I wanted to finish with that. It says, until he destroyed thee, right? Go to verse 64. Because this ties into a lot of the history that he was just bringing out. Slavery, right? Now I got a question for both of you men. In slavery, did, did they teach us religion or not? Yeah. He says no. He says yes. They, they taught Christianity, didn't they? Yeah, I, I would say yes. But we're going to let the Bible say it. Watch this read. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 64. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from the one end of the earth even unto the other. So read it from the top one more time. And the Lord shall scatter thee. How did God scatter black people? He scattered us through slavery. We were scattered on boats, ships, cargo slave ships to be exact. The Lord scattered us, read on. Among all people. When it says among all people. Come look at this sign, y'all. When it says among all people, it's talking about South America, right. Africa, right. Europe, right. Brazil. We was in North America. When the Lord said we will be scattered, that's exactly what happened, brothers. We got brothers right now that look like you in Rio de Janeiro. That's in Brazil somewhere. Look just like you, just speak a different language. We got brothers right now that's in Russia. Bring it out. That's in Europe. Right. Look just like you, just speak a different language. That's you understand? Because right. God says he going to scatter us among all people. Right. Read on. From the one end of the earth. All the way from our homeland, which was Jerusalem. <laughs> Read on. Even unto the other. We got all the way over here, right now in Little Rock, Arkansas, which is in North America. Bible prophecy we read. That's right. Come on. And there. And there, when you arrived off the slave ships, brothers, listen to what the Bible saying. When you arrived off those slave ships, read on. Thou shalt serve other gods. God told us, when you get there, they're going to give you new religions. That's, right. That's what the other gods going into. They're going to give you Christianity. Right. And it's going to say it. Keep reading. Which neither thou, which neither you, nor thy fathers have known. Our fathers never knew a white Jesus. Right. Our fathers never knew a Buddhist fat uh, temple. We never knew that. We never knew Islam, brothers. We never knew none of these things. However, these are the gods we have to serve because we disobeyed our God. Y'all with me? Keep reading. Even wood. So God is explaining the gods we will serve. One of them is the wood. What is the wood, brothers? Christianity. That's right. Each and every church you arrive to in each of these schools and uh, these, uh, these cities, it's a cross on top of it. That's right. That's letting you know what God you coming to serve, Christianity. Right. Even wood and what else? And stone. And what? And stone. So what are the two main religions that our people will be serving once we got here? Christianity and Islam. That's right. That's the stone that the Bible's talking about. That's the stone we worship during the time of sub-Saharan slave trade. Right. When the Arabs forced us, you understand? They forced us to serve their gods. These are the curses, my brother, but the question is, why we never learned this? Because this system that we up against is against you. Right. But we got the one true God. Right. So you're going to hear truth or lies. You got to accept one. We're reading truth. God says you're going to serve your enemies. And he says they're going to be wood and stone. Read on. And among these nations shall thou find no ease. So ask yourself, why do the white man shoot me every day? Bring it out. Why do the Arab man sex traffic our sisters in Libya, in Mauritania? Right. Because that's what's going on. They are still sex trafficking sisters, your blood, your people, in Mauritania and in Africa. $400, I believe. About 400 bucks, they selling them. You understand? Slavery still in existence, that's brothers. Right. Yeah. God says, 
we will serve our enemies. We will have to worship them by wood and stone. And amongst these nations, we won't have ease. That's why every city in every ghetto is another murder by a white man. It's another police brutality. It's another drug bust that uh, uh, drugs was planted on brothers. It's brothers right now still in jail suffering from something they didn't even do. Bring it out. Like Emmett Till, the brother got put to death because the white woman said he whistled at her. And years later on her deathbed, brothers, what'd she say? It was a lie. I lied. But guess what? God got your records. That's right. You understand? Vengeance is of the Lord. That's they gonna right. get what they they gonna get what they've been doing to us. Right. But if you believe in that, you gotta believe in one true God. You gotta believe in this book. Right. Read on. Neither shall the sole of thy foot have rest. Why you think we gotta work every day? It's by design, brothers. This world was given to you the rule. Wow. Yet we gotta work every day for it. Nine to fives. You can even have a business. It's still labor. You understand? You still got to provide for something that is supposed to be yours. You understand? Amen. This is crazy. That's However, God said it will happen because we didn't listen to our God. He told us to keep the commandments. Say, hell no, nah, where the hole's at? He said, keep the commandments. Hell no, nah, roll one, smoke one. He said, keep the commandments. No, I'd rather eat pork, shrimp, crab, and lobster. The hell with that turkey and that, that lamb. I don't want that. I want what the heathen want. That's why we're in these conditions. We want to be the white man. We want his white woman and his pork. That's what you want with both of those. But they ain't what we're here for, brothers. Get Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. This is what we're here for. We got to change our mind, body, and soul. We got to get right with the Lord because we all done evil. We all are sick individuals. But the Bible is the healing. It can heal a murderer. It can heal a drug dealer. Right. It can heal a, 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 a two-time loser. Bring it out. Stay in and out of jail. Right. God says, I can deal with that brother. He can be of use. That's right. But if you want to be used, you got to hearken to God's word. Right. Read. Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. The conclusion of the matter is what this Bible is about. Read on. Fear God. We got to fear God, brothers. Stop sleeping with these women. They ain't your wife. Wow. That's how you know you fear God. Stop getting high every goddamn day. That's how you fear God, brothers. Read on. And keep his commandments. Keep his commandments. We got to fear God and keep his commandments. Because why? Read on. But this is the whole duty of man. This is the whole duty of the black man today. That's right. And you ain't just black. You are the Israelites. That's right. You are the princes that have power with the Lord. That's right. You are the ones that have set this world right back where it's supposed to be. Right. You are the men God's calling. That's right. You're going to step up and you're going to sit down like the rest of them. Get 2nd Edge chapter 10, verse 33. You got to be a man in these days because they ain't going to give you shit out here. They're going to treat you like shit because that's what you think. But if you think like a guy, you're going to move like one. Right. And damn it, you ain't going to ask for it. You're going to do it. That's right. Read 2nd Edge chapter 10, verse 33. Come on. And he said unto me, stand up manfully. You heard what God told us? Be a man, God damn it. That's right. Do something about your life. Stop blaming the white man for everything. It was us that put us here. Why? When it's all said and done. Right. They ruling because we ain't right with the father. That's right. right. Once we get right with the father, they going to be at our feet. That's right. Thus saith the Lord. Read. And I will advise thee. And I'm going to tell you how to move like a man. I'm going to advise you. Get Proverbs 23 and 26. Yeah. God wants us to apply our mind to his words. Stop doing what you want to do out here. Because this life don't belong to you. That's how we got to get in our mind. Every day we wake up. Read. Proverbs chapter 23, verse 26. Uh -huh. My son. We are the sons of God, That's brother. Right. That's right. We are the sons of God. Keep that in your mind. I ain't the nigga Ray J no more. I ain't nigga no more. I'm the son of God. That's right. Read on. Give me thine heart. Give me your mind. That's right. Because that's how the Lord going to use us. I got to use your mind. I got to control you somehow, some way. Right. That means I got to use your mind. Right. I got to control you. And what else? Read on. And let thine eyes observe my ways. How do our eyes observe his ways? Get Isaiah 34 and 16. Bring it out. This Bring it is out. how our eyes observe the Lord's ways. We ain't going to be reading the giggle mesh and epics. We ain't going to be reading the Quran. We ain't going to be reading what else? The 42 laws of my eyes. We going to be reading the Bible. Read. Isaiah 34 verse 16. Huh. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord 
and read. So when we give our eyes to the Lord, we're going to be reading his Bible. That's right. We're going to be seeking out of the Lord of this book. Read on. No one of these shall fail. None of these prophecies that God has wrote will not be, will not be uh, uh, cast off. Right. It's going to happen. It's going to come to pass. Read on. None shall want her mate. You can't compare this book to no other book. That's right. Why you think it's the number one seller since it arrived on the earth? Right. Right. No other book can compare to this. You understand? Read on. For my mouth, it had commanded, uh -huh. and his spirit, it had gathered. Yeah. These books have been gathered by the Lord. This yeah. wasn't written by the white man. Right. This wasn't written by a white gay uh, King James, because King James wasn't white, neither was he gay. Bring it up. He was a Bring black it. man who That's ruled right. Scotland. He was a black man who ruled Wales. He ruled three different places at Bring the same up. time. Right. Because that's how gods move. We got rulership. But what happened to us, we fell from our grace. We fell from our glory. Right. Get Isaiah 13 and 12. So we got to rebuild ourselves up back to the black men and the kings that we were. Jeez. And guess what? It ain't impossible because you're looking at it. That's right. We was drug dealers once upon a time. We sold dope. We was gang bangers. We had the flags out of our pockets. Right. We did this evil, but we changed our mind and got right with the Lord. Read. Isaiah chapter 13 and verse 12. Uh -huh. I will make a man. I will do what? Make a man. This man ain't the white man. This man ain't the Arab man. This man is you so-called blacks. That's right. You Hispanics. Right. God said, I'm going to make the Israelite man. Read on. More precious than fine gold. I'm going to make you more precious than any jewelry you can think of. That's right. right. Meaning what? When it comes to you, you cannot be compared to nothing on this earth. That's right. right. But that ain't how the city look at us. That ain't how even your black woman look at you. Right. You ain't nothing. You just another mm, pouring all in your face, disrespecting you. But guess what, brothers? We can change the black woman when we change ourselves. That's, right. That's, That's right. how it works. God works from the top down, not That's down right. up. Right. That's the reason why we're in these damn conditions. We listen to the woman too damn long. But it's time to change, brothers. Right. It's time to get your balls back and rule your house. Wow. Be a man in your house. Damn it, what you say goes. That's what the Bible says. Because you're the man, and I'm going to make you precious and fine gold. Right. Read on. Even a man, then the golden words of Ophir. Even a man of the gold and the most precious, uh, the most precious uh, gold that was of this time. God, I'm, I'm going to make you better than that. Right. Get to rock two and five, because guess what? It ain't going to be easy. You ain't just going to slide through to get the kingdom of heaven. And that's my question. All this stuff we're reading, you know how to get this? You got to keep God's commandments. Like I said earlier, you got to stop smoking weed because it's biblical. You got to stop sleeping with woman to woman because it's biblical. You understand? We can't tat ourselves up. I used to do it. I said, you know what, Lord? I, I repent. I'm not doing it no more. I stopped getting tattoos. It's easy. If you give God your mind, it works. But if you, you know what? I think I'm right. Well, you're going to stay as a nigga. That's what's going to happen. That's the end all be all. We don't give our mind to God. We will remain as Negroes and Hispanics here. That's right. So read. I give the African chapter 2 and verse 5. For gold is tried in the fire. You know what uh, uh, gold is, right? It's a valuable element. But how do you get the best gold? Just look in signs. I'm talking signs for a minute. In order to get the best value of the gold, you got to purify it. Right. You got to get rid of the impurities. Because that's how God is dealing with us. He said, I'm going to make you gold, but I got to get rid of some stuff. That's right. A lot of you smoke. You got to stop that. Let me get that out. Right. A lot of you like to sleep from woman to woman. You like to get down like that. I got to get that out of you. Because I'm going to try you as fire. I got to make you something, but I got to remove those things out of you. Read on. An acceptable man and the furnace of adversity. And once you get rid of the whoremonger spirit, the drug dealing spirit, the murdering spirit, you acceptable to God. Get Romans chapter 12, verse 1. Because once you come into this faith, my brother, you believe in this book? You believe in what we're reading? Guess what God says? You are now a sacrifice. You now got to sacrifice your life now for the Lord. You understand? Read what you got. The book of Romans chapter 12 and verse 1. Uh -huh. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your body. Your what? Your body. Your bodies what? A living sacrifice. How do we do that? Get Hebrews 13 and 4. We're going to start there. How do you present your body now a living sacrifice to God? Remember what we read. I'm going to make a man precious in fine gold. But in order to get gold in the most finest way, you got you to gotta purify it. You got to get rid of impurities. Here's one way you can change from that Negro to a God. 
Watch this, read. Book of Hebrews chapter 13 and verse 4. Uh -huh. Marriage is honorable in all. What did God say? Marriage is honorable in all. Uh -huh. And the bed undefiled. Uh -huh. But whoremongers and adulterers God will judge. So read it from the top. Marriage is honorable in all. God honors marriage. Right. Not between a black man and a white man. A black woman and a white woman. It between a black man and a black woman. That's right. God honors marriage according to the scriptures. Right. Marry within your race. God don't honor a black man laying up with a white woman. It is what it is. He don't deal like that. That's mixing. You understand? Marriage is honorable, not girlfriend and boyfriend. Right. Not baby mama, baby daddy. That's not honorable in the eyesight of God. Read on. And the bed undefiled. And when you got this woman and you married to a lawfully you could do what you want with her in the bedroom because that's your wife. That's what she was made for, to pleasure you, to give you what you need. She is a help me to you, to service you. Read on. But whoremonger. But what? Whoremonger. What is a whoremonger? This is the brother. He see one, he, he slammed the cheeks. He see another, he slammed the cheeks. He see another one, he keep doing it until he just can't stop. God says whoremongers. Read on. And adultery. This is a brother that been lawfully married. He got a wife at home, but he still choose uh, the cleanup woman. He still choose uh, uh, the work wife. Y'all know what work wife is, don't you? Bring it up. Proximity is real. That's why you got to be careful. Don't be getting close to these women at your workplace. Because they are very, uh, what's the word the scriptures say? They subtle of heart. They'll say little things or drop nuggets in your mind. Oh, you look like you worked out today. How the hell are you telling me that? You know I'm married. But that's to, Satan is tempting you. Damn, she said, I worked out today. Damn, my, my wife ain't told me that in years. And I go to the gym faithfully. She don't say nothing to me, damn. But damn, but she's she showing me love. She might be my wife, she might be. You know what, God probably wants us to be together. Satan working on you now. I'm giving you real deal stuff. Be careful, brothers, if you're married. Read on. God will judge. So whoremongers and adulterers, God will judge. How do God judge men or women that commit adultery in these days? Bring it out. Get Proverbs chapter 6. I want that one first. And then get Deuteronomy 28. I'm going to show y'all what goes down. And I'm pretty sure y'all know. I'm going to ask you first. What happens when brothers commit adultery on their wife? What can happen? Get a divorce. Lose everything. Yeah, that's that's right. That's get a divorce. Lose everything. Yes, some point. What, what else you got? Divorce? You don't think nothing else can happen? I've been through it. <laughs> you said, I've been through it already. Yeah, How, been through you been divorced? It. No, I ain't divorced yet, but I've been through it. So you, you basically in a marriage right now? Yeah, I'm married. And you think about getting divorced? Yeah. Did she cheat? Yeah, she cheated. Sheesh. Damn. I don't know what you're waiting on, brother. Yeah. <laughs> but right. hey, we're going to deal with it, though. Yeah. Here's another reason or another judgment of what can happen if you commit adultery. Watch yeah. this read. Six and, uh, verse, over there, verse 30. Verse 32. The book of Proverbs, chapter 6 and verse 32. Uh -huh. But whosoever committed adultery uh -huh. with a woman lacketh understanding. So God says when you commit adultery with a woman, you simple as hell. Because every judgment in this book is consequences behind it. You commit adultery, expect something's about to go wrong. Something's about to ricochet. You understand? Read. He that doeth it destroyeth his own soul. So when you commit adultery, you're not just, you think you're tearing it up. Meanwhile, you're destroying your damn self. That's, right. That's what God is saying. Watch this, read. A wound. A what? A wound. A dishonor shall he get. Read it again. A wound. A wound and what else? And dishonor shall he get. What's some ways that you can get a wound or dishonor? A wound is the husband come in and whoop your ass. <laughs> that's, the, that's, that's the simple wound. Another one could be gunshots to your damn head. Dishonor is this. You was the church pastor. <laughs> you, you was a man of God. And they find out you in the midst of adultery. They're going to be like, damn. I thought, damn, I went to counsel for this. Bro. Hey, the hell? I'm good on this, brother. Now you're going to get dishonor in your congregation. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example.
nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is.